Hey guys, back here at the Schmuckbilt factory today, and we got a turbo in a drift truck now. Let's check it out. So what are we working with here? We're turbo on a truck. Well, yeah, but what kind of turbo is this? It's a Borg Warner S366. All right. And that's going to be good for tons of power. We're going to make like 600 pretty easily with this thing. Got two waste gates here. Yep, it's a divided manifold, turbo smart gates. So was the manifold hell to make or was it easy? It sucks. Definitely not as much room in there as we thought. No, the initial look at it was pretty simple and it's, that's not the case. Pretty much kind of held the turbo where I thought I wanted to put it. And I took a collector that I already had made and welded a bar from the flange to flange to kind of hold location. Yep. And I got that where I wanted to put the turbo and then I took it all off the car, off the truck, yep. built a fixture from there and built it all on the bench. Sense, yeah. Made sure it fit the truck, took it back to the bench, broke it apart, welded it out, put it back together, put it in the truck. <laughs> so how long did it take to build that manifold? Too long, probably 14, 15 hours. Intercooler looks good, fits in there nice, and I see we got one intercooler pipe done right now. Looking good, very clean, unlike the rest of the truck. The rest of the truck sucks. Where are you going to get oil from, or where am I going to get oil from? I don't know if you're Off doing it or me. pressure sensor. Right down in. Oh, in okay, there. real easy. And then where were you talking about putting the oil drain? Um, you can go to the pan, or I recommend you were saying, it, yeah. like right here. Okay. Since they sit on the angle, if you do to the pan, it ends up being under the oil level. But you say we still have to pull the pan to pull that off. Yeah. It's not too bad. Your um, oil pan sitting on the subframe is the, the dilemma. <laughs> I have an extra cover that's already got a bung in it. So oh. you can just take that with you, swap oh, it out, cool. and bring this one back. So okay. You want to build a downpipe? Yeah. Are you doing the downpipe first? Yeah. Or did you already make these? No, I didn't make those yet. I got to do the downpipe so I can get a round. I was thinking about coming out like right, the turbo sits like right here. Mm -hmm. I see what coming up like here on the high part of the hood. I had to cut some more of that out with your. I um, see, yeah. Twenty That's year old right. dirt. <laughs> Crossed it up in there. Oh, was there some dirt? Yeah, it was so bad. Ooh. It smelled awesome. Yeah, that hood's probably 15 years old. She's a beaut. Did you make this one? Mm-hmm. Stock hood with fiberglass laying on top of it. Literally just laid it on there. We had like a piece of cardboard, and then just laid the fiberglass on top of it. I think that's how we did it. It's so long, I don't even remember <laughs> how. Okay, let's do some work. A little flex pipe there so the manifold doesn't crack. Manifold crack. I think you just offended it. You ever wiped down anything for this truck before welding it? You wanna tell us what's going on right now? Stabbing myself like, with tungsten. Oh, <laughs> it's stainless steel. It. It's a reactive metal. So when you weld it, any oxygen comes in contact with it above a certain degree, contaminates the weld. 
So we're gonna fill it with argon on the inside and we're gonna use it on the outside. I can't believe you guys are making me weld with no radio. This is terrible. So what do you think for wastegate dumps? Um, out of the hood. What are you thinking? Where at out of the hood? Oh, I don't care. I was thinking up like right through here, okay. which would be like this one with like an S turn, yeah. and then out, and then this one to get it right beside it. So it comes up like right, the downpipe comes down and they come up like right here. Okay. Depending where we come up out of here, I was gonna put a tag on the downpipe. I guess I could put it like down here, oh, like so on you the can side. Still see it. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't put anything on the manifold. Pretty convenient not having an inner fender. Can't step over. It's right in there. Stood under the hood to build some wastegate dumps. Sorry, you guys. I'm gonna take off. <laughs> yeah, I got a hot date waiting for me. But we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned.